Ellipsel A-Level Maths, Pure Paper 1, October 2021, Question 9. f of x equals 50x squared plus 38x plus 9, or over 5x plus 2 all squared, times 1 minus 2x. Given that f of x can be expressed in the form a over 5x plus 2, plus b over 5x plus 2 all squared, plus c over 1 minus 2x, where a, b and c are constants, we need to find the values of b and c. To do this, we're going to think about what happens if we take the expression with the a, b and c in there and try and convert this back into a full fraction as f of x is. Well, to do this, we're going to need to get all those denominators the same. We're going to change them all back into the 5x plus 2 all squared, 1 minus 2x, like f of x is. Well, to do this, we would need to multiply the first fraction with the a on it by another 5x plus 2 and the 1 minus 2x. The b would need to multiply by 1 minus 2x and the c by 5x plus 2 all squared. And this would then equal to the numerator of f of x, 50x squared plus 38x plus 9. So we've got an equation. We can now solve this. One way is to expand all the brackets and equate the terms. So look at what x squared ends up on the right, compare it to 50, and so on. As there are a lot of bits to this, a potentially quicker way is to look at what happens if we set x equal to values that would make brackets disappear. So for example, on the right hand side, we've got brackets that say 1 minus 2x. We've got them twice. So if we let x equal a half, 1 minus 2x becomes 0. So the a and the b would completely disappear because we're multiplying them by 0. So let's put this in. Left hand side, we get 50 times a half squared plus 38 times a half plus 9. On the right hand side, all we're left with is the c times by 5 times a half plus 2 all squared which simplifying gives us 81 over 2 equals 81 over 4 c, hence c is equal to 2. If we do the same thing with the 5x plus 2 brackets, so we're going to let x equal minus 2 fifths, if that's the case then 5x plus 2 becomes 0, and all we're left with is the b part. So the left hand side we've substituted minus 2 fifths in, Right hand side, we just end up with b times 1 plus 2 times 2 fifths, because our two negatives cancel out there. Simplifying this tells us that 9 fifths equals 9 fifths b, hence b is equal to 1. For part 2, we need to show that a is equal to 0. Well, we've already worked out b and c, so let's put those in. So using the beginning of the last part, we know that 50x squared plus 38x plus 9 is equal to a times 5x plus 2 and 1 minus 2x plus 1 minus 2x plus 2 lots of 5x plus 2 all squared. Now again, we could expand all these and equate them. It'll take a little while. So another method is to set x to 0. This will cancel out a lot of our terms then. We'll get rid of the x squared and the x from the left. We'll simplify the brackets on the right, but we'll make things a lot easier. So letting x equal 0, we get 9 on the left hand side. The right hand side, we just get 2 times 1 from the brackets, so 2a plus 1 plus 2 times 4. So 9 equals 2a plus 9, hence a is equal to 0 as required. bi, we need to use binomial expansions to show that in ascending powers of x, f of x equals p plus qx plus rx squared, where p, q and r are simplified fractions to be found. So we know a, b and c, we've worked them out, so let's put them back in. f of x is equal to 1 over 5x plus 2 all squared plus 2 over 1 minus 2x. If we put this into index form, we know that the first bit is going to be 5x plus 2 to the minus 2. To use our binomial expansion on this, we're going to get it so that instead of having a 2 in the bracket, it's going to be a 1. So we would divide the bracket by 2. But remember, we've got that power there. So the minus 2 is going to be applied to the 2 that we factored out as well. So this is equal to 2 to the power of minus 2 times by 5 over 2x plus 1 to the power of minus 2. And we're going to expand that bracket. So our expansion is the 1 that's already in the bracket plus power of minus 2 
times by the x term, which is 5 over 2x. The third term is going to be the power of minus 2 times by this power minus 1, so minus 3, all over 2 factorial, which is 2, times by the square of our x term, the 5 over 2x. Simplifying the brackets gives us 1 minus 5x plus 75 over 4x squared. And then timesing by the quarter, which has come from that 2 to the minus 2, we get a quarter minus 5 over 4x plus 75 over 16 times x squared. The second fraction, the 2 over 1 minus 2x, we're going to do the same thing. So 1 minus 2x to the minus 1. Expanding it, we get the 1 for the first term plus our power of minus 1 times by the x term minus 2x. And then we get for the third bit, power of minus 1 times by this, take away 1, so that's minus 2, all over 2 times by the x term minus 2x all squared. Simplifying and expanding, we get 2 plus 4x plus 8x squared. So bringing them together, we've got our quarter minus 5 quarters x plus 75 sixteenths x squared plus 2 plus 4x plus 8x squared which gives us a final answer of 9 over 4 plus 11 over 4x plus 203 over 16x squared. For B, part 2, we need to find the range of values of x for which this expansion is valid. So here's our f of x. To use the binomial expansion, we need the x part of our brackets, the modulus of this, to be smaller than 1. So for example, the modulus of 5x has to be smaller than 1, and the modulus of 2x is going to be smaller than 1. Rearranging those, we would get that the modulus of x is smaller than 2 fifths for our first fraction, and for the second fraction, the modulus of x is smaller than a half. So for the whole expansion, we need to find the x value that will fit into both of these inequalities. Well, 2 fifths is the smallest of them, that's the strongest inequality. So the range of values for f of x is the modulus of x is smaller than 2 fifths. If you've enjoyed this video, remember to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel to keep up to date with all the latest releases.